Jesus Christ, His only, only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified dead and buried, he descended into hell, he into hell. the third day, he rose again from the dead, he, from the dead. he ascended into heaven, he ascended into heaven. and 
and seated, and seated on the right hand of God, the right hand of God as the Father Almighty, the Father Almighty from thence, from hence, shall come to joy, shall come to judge, the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy, Spirit, the Holy Cherubim, the Holy Cherubim, and the Church of Christ, Church of Christ the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the, of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. And life everlasting. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you all. Spirit. Thank you. 
Oba to ti fi han mi pe iwo sa o go ko ka mo ma ja ara o wa ni pe nu yin lasan bo ti ri bo la se re afi atwa is to be abana wa israel ti ki se ti ti in fact o wish be ka e dis yen sise Ifan, I want us, I wish we can hear it. service now for me to just continue to bless you. Let us share. She be one of my coin. Can we So I may not see and see will be so melodious. I saw the she could see me there. Oh, Sanyo, Ati, Banuja, Bakun, Nasa, Togore, Ah.
And God made beasts of the earth after his kind and cattle after their kind and everything that crept upon the earth after his kind and God saw that it was good. So from the beginning God made humans from him. He made us out of his he made, him, he made us out of his own image. He's made us to be the temple of God. So, from what I understand from that is that through the scriptures we know that God values our bodies. And that's why he's put us here. Like we see like there's things that God has made, like the trees and things that God has made, the earth, God has made everything. But us as humans, as mammals, as we can move around, we have a reason that we can do that. Because God has made us to be the temple of him. Can someone else open uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 19, please? 1 Corinthians 6, 19. And number one, open 1 Corinthians 3, 16, please. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Can someone else open 1 Corinthians 3, 16, please? Anybody? No, what? 619 no, plus three. Not... What's that? What are you reading? Um, first Corinthians 6, 19. Yes. What? No, you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in your, which is in you, which ye have of the Lord, of Lord, and ye are not your own. For know you that you, your body is the temple of God, that we are not our own, but we, we borrow this body to be on earth. God, God owns this body. God owns us. And we need to be able to feed our body with things that are godly. And feed our body with things that are going to sort of represent God. Like, we're not, like coming here, this is, this church, the church is the temple of God. But the, your body itself is the temple of God. We can come to church, we can clean the temple of God. We can, I can clean here, and clean here. But is the temple of God clean? Is your body actually clean? And how do we clean the temple of God? Because obviously, I know everyone knows that. I use myself for example. I go out a lot. I go out. I wear red bottoms. I drink. Yeah. But, but that, that isn't adding to the temple of God. It, re, it actually really isn't adding to the temple of God. And I know that there's some things that we do that isn't adding to the temple of God, like fighting. A lot of people in this church, we fight. That's not added to the temple of God, this building, and it's also not added to the temple of God that's inside you. And no one here wants to know what will happen if we chase God from the temple, from our temple, from the temple of God. If you chase God from the temple of God, it says, God says in Ezekiel 7, 8. Come on, Ezekiel 7, 8, please. What do they say in your brother? Along cooking baby, baby, God doesn't live in a, in a dirty place. If you're dirty, if you're if you're not feeding yourself with the word of God, you're not feeding yourself, you're not following his commandments, the basic simple thing, ten commandments. Yeah. Now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee. Please use a mic, please use a mic so I can hear Now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee. I will pour out my fury upon thee. And accomplish my anger upon thee. And accomplish my anger upon thee. Judge thee according to thy ways. And I will judge thank you. I will judge thee according to thy ways. I pray God does not judge us to our ways because we judge according to our ways. (laughs) (laughs) Me myself, I will be scared. (laughs) Me myself, I will be scared. I will be scared. It's the highest level of hypocrisy. If you can come here to church, you're singing, you're doing this, everybody is shaking, all of this. It's the highest level of hypocrisy if you do not feed your body with the with, with what if you do not feed the temple of God with his word. It is the highest level of hypocrisy. The highest level. And how many of us can say that we go home, we reflect on what we've learned here, and we go, we tell our friends, we do this. We we need to really take the, the temple of God seriously. You need to understand the temple of God. The temple of God. Even as you say the temple, even it gives you goosebumps. The temple of God. It's your body. Um another one, can someone else please open Genesis 39? Please. I want to read someone to which one from 1 to 21. 
these are things that we shouldn't put into the temple of God. Fornication, blasphemy. Please. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Israelites, which had brought him down here. Okay. I know all of us probably already know the story. Joseph and the, when he was brought down and his uh, the king's wife was continuously tempting him. I think you go down to verse 19 or 18. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his no, wife. That, maybe go to uh, 10. Go to 10. And it came to pass as she spoke to Joseph by day by day, yeah. and he hearkened not yeah. unto her to lie by her or to be with her. Yeah. And it came to pass about this time yeah. that Joseph went into the house to do this business, yeah. and there was none of the men of the house there. There was not the. It was a, a mighty coincidence that Joseph went into the house to do his business, but the only person in the house was the wife. That's a big coincidence. Keep going. And she caught him by his garment. She caught him by his garment. Saying, Say it. lie with me. Lie with me. Okay, thank you. Before, I can I can even say before he even gets to that position, the first time she's asked him, ah, Joseph, can you come and do this with me? And you know yourself that your body is temple of God, you should do it. Henry also did it. I can't say myself that I would not do it. I'm the rose for it. He says your body is the temple of God. So you know that what he's about to do, the, the act that he's about to commit isn't of God. You see life of another woman's wife. That is not of God. Keep reading, please. And he left his garment in her hand. He left his garment in her hand. And fled. And, and fled. got him out. Yes. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment yes. in her hand. And fled off. She called unto the men of her house. She spoke unto them, saying, See, he had brought in an Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. She spoke unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hadst brought unto us came in to me to mock me, and it came to pass as I lifted up my voice and I cried, and he left his garment with me. Can you read? The world going as verse nine. It says there is no there is no greater in the house than I, nor has he kept anything back but from you. But because you are his wife, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? It's not only that he didn't say how can I do this great and wickedness sin against the king? How can I do this great and wickedness sin against God? Because he knows that his body is a temple of God and he can't you, you can't do those sort of things if, you're a if your body is a temple of God. You can't lie with no one's wife. You can't kill. You can't lie. You have to, even things like obeying your parents. Your body is a temple of God. It says in the Bible, take one that. We you have to obey your parents so your, so your days can be long enough. So, if your body is a temple of God, then you just have to follow those simple, simple, simple laws that God has laid out for us. It's, it's like, it's like it's, it's easy and we know it's not hard not to do it but for some reason we'll do it it's not hard not to look at what is not yours but we'll do it it's not hard for us not to steal but we'll do it it's not it's not hard for us not to fight but somehow we will fight i pray god shall allow us our bodies to be the temple of god please let's stand up for prayer in jesus name Jesus. Lord, Father, thank you for allowing me to speak to your people, Lord. I pray that you shall, we shall understand your word in Jesus' name. I pray that your word shall lay in our hearts in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray you shall allow us to, to allow you to live in us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
They, they gave me a message to him here. He said, Kalisa, how mighty he is. He said, I should not be, I mean, be doubting. He said, any time I want to go to work, and that's what he said, you cannot go. I always doubt him. God, I said, I'm not finding money. I should not do it again. I should just sit down, not to work. Because God has spent it in his mercy, he's, 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 he's arrived he's right for her. Before the God of man, as I entered the other time, I can never remember the other the time I've been like that. It was so surprising and I'm so I mean and I'm so happy. Is that your ugliness were taken away from people's body? Then we now crown them with beauty. I've never seen the children as beautiful as this like this. So we for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Mm. Psalm 40. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. One, two, three. We have been serving the anniversary. We always have this uh, argument. I have not observed any misunderstanding to uh, this time around. If I had, I just keep her as if I know her. For the king that don't allow his mercy to depart in our midst. He allowed this one to go smoothly. For every soul that I be called to do to control the people. For all the organizers. Any company in the world, this superman. That's something that is surprising me, Lord. He may not surprise you. You want me to read a moon? But because you have brought oneness to his presence. Oh, company, no, I owe a good of that. None of our joys shall come to sorrow. Hey, I'm not I'm not working. They are not allowing lies to come out from our mouths. I'm even fighting that, but I forgive you. I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving. No, friendship to 
Timushe Alatayinde, Sarah Atekule, Timushe Shibodo, cut their dreads. September 2018, the Michael family blesses us with a baby girl, Sharon. Glory be to God. September 2018, our baby started junior infants, whilst also some of our children furthered their education into secondary school. December 2018, our Emmanuel band members came out with understanding feedback and were also giving gifts of how they performed at Sunday school over the months. We hope this new year is amazing, is amazing and is filled with joy, happiness, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. God bless. Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus. When we offer Jesus Christ, your Lord, if any not your Lord, who be in the key, who be in the key, who be in the key, Jesus, a barawa. I
mo ba la se ni bi o ta la ba oro fura re o joko ti oju o ki bu eja yes no ko lo wa kuro ninu ibu wa fona se bi pe to ba ti ri be gogo bi te ba da foju si gogo bi te ba foko si arogo arogo bogo je o ra pe yen ni ya pe o n gba la dura to ro yin ni daja tori mo ri ninu kini ko to send si ni okunrin to mu pata yawe o fe lo lu mo ri okunrin to to lo go Yeah, I see the husband using the glory of the wife. That's what I say. Oh, what about I just want you? Do you just go go you share share? Don't want to share 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 share. Do you want me to share? Don't want me to buy them. Do you go you me to tell you me? Say my sugar daddy. Oh, go so can go fit the elam. Oh, Tamo, oh, Lako, you, it's too much. Yeah, you go on. It's too much. Yeah, you go on. Any day, too much. Yeah, you go on. Oh, no, go move. Let to that, I go with you. Oh, no, it's too much. Oh, no, to that, I go with you. Oh, no, it's too much. How much if you come back? Oh, no, what you need? Oh, I share a lot of my life. And you know, okay, what the city is to swap. Ah, beautiful. I share a lot of my own. Eh, I'm actually very awful. Who did be you? She may fancy your tea, bon coco. I've got a lot of Israeli tea, you said. She said, I'm going to swap. Ah, beautiful. Oh, Nicky, you see, I've got the brain. Yes, yes, yes. 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 A fashiri, fashiri. What I want to do? What did you need to be a bar? What sort of idiot? Ah, Jesus. It's why you are even more scared than me. Jesus. Don't be behind your dream party. Come on, Jamie. Come on, let's make a jam. Ah, Jesus. Ah, I got your bike, Mama Jamie. I got your bike, Mama Jamie. Hey, you are the first. Ah, Jesus. Hey, I want me to share with you. Two thousand and nineteen, he could eat it, but we just found out. Ah, we saw Kuluri. Ah, Jesus. And he said, "Come, we pass the bar." Ah, Jesus. And I'm sure we found out. Ah, Jesus. Oh, so you want to go be ready to watch it? Oh, you really are your one. My people, my fumo. Ire ayowo, ma fi pa mo fun won o. Ire ayowo, ma fi pa. Eya ni ire ayo mi. Ma fi pa mo fun. Ani o sa ti mo, o ti ri mi mo je o. Oh, my God. 
accept the thanks offering of today. Pray for every member of this parish. Pray for the church as well. I put the celebration before you, God. Everything that your children has put forward as sufferings, Father, Lord, sanctify and accept them in Jesus. Esther band, Esther saw surprises in the house of the king. You will be surprised into glory in Jesus' name. The youth, Father Almighty, may the Lord Almighty continually endow you with his grace in Jesus' name. Everyone that have danced and rejoiced before the Lord, whatever God has placed in your hand that gives you joy and happiness, Satan will not take them away in Jesus' name. Amen. I saw Solomon's flag as well. That is to say wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, we bestow unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Rhoda flag. You will fly and soar like an eagle in Jesus' name. Amen. Every member present, every member absent, the blessing of today, you shall be a partaker in Jesus' name. Amen. We have known you today, all children, by the grace of Almighty God, we will never sorrow upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. A prayer has been said for you already. By the time you want to choose, you will never choose wrongfully in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. of the Holy Ghost, Amen. we guide you, Amen. we keep you, Amen. we protect you, Amen. we give you victory, Amen. multiple blessing, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. 